And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics. And I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Hey, everyone, and welcome. In this video, we're going to be having a look at some news out of the US, or specifically out of Estonia. I know that's a confusing one, but we'll get to why. In regards to Trump. Now, this is uh, quite funny, in my opinion, and I'm sure you will agree. It's titled, One More Shot. Trump nominated again for the Nobel Peace Prize by an Estonian politician this time for not starting any wars while in office. Hard to argue with that, isn't it? <laughs> Before we get into this though everyone, you may be aware that the channel's been demonetized. If you wish to help out the channel, you can do. There are three ways to do it now. There's a merchandise store where you can buy some goodies. There's also a PayPal link and a Patreon link. Let's get into this, shall we? Donald Trump has been nominated for a Peace Prize again for not starting any wars while he was in office. Jack Madison, a member of right-wing populist party ECRA. Right, okay. So this is the sun, by the way, everyone. So right-wing populist party could just mean not left-wing. As we all know so I'm, I don't know for sure it may be right wing it may not be but just because the sun says it is doesn't mean it is claimed he nominated the former president for having contributed to ensuring stability in the Middle East yeah I'm not too sure if Biden's going to do that be, be doing that are you Donald Trump is the first president of the United States in the last 30 years whose office the country has not started any war the MEP stated in a Facebook post which cited his nomination application so there you have it everyone he's been nominated for not being a war Mungera, which, in my opinion, is perfect reason for a Nobel Peace Prize, is it not? In addition, several peace agreements have been made under his lead the leadership in the Middle East, which has helped ensure stability in the region and peace. Israel and the United Arab Emirates agreed to historic deal normalising relations in 2020. Madison, whose post said he submitted his nomination exactly two hours before the deadline fell, said he was definitely, definitely not the only one who nominated the former president. But as we know, the more applicants, the more likely successes he wrote. Now, let's not forget that the Nobel Peace Prize is tainted. It's not the best in regards to the people that have got it or people that are nominated for it. For the people that have got it, just as a handful, we've got Marie, Marie Curie, Albert Einstein, Barack Obama, I'd question that one. Theodore Roosevelt, Nelson Mandela and that one. Woodrow Wilson, Mother Teresa, Desmond Tutu. And that's just to name a few. And now, Trump again. <laughs> also, let's remember who's been nominated for this Nobel Peace Prize, shall we? Here we go. We're ready. Hitler, Gandhi, Mussolini, Mandela, Carter and Stalin. Twice. So it's not the best prize, is it really? It's been tainted. In my opinion, I'd like to know what your opinion is on this. I mean, everyone, who he's up against in regards to nominations is a bit of a joke in my opinion too so he might be in with a good chance who have we got the who yeah world health organization because they deserve it don't they and greta thunberg see you never know <laughs> it's good news though isn't it i mean it's hard to say that he's a dictator and he was such a bad person if he's being nominated for numerous nobel peace prizes hopefully fingers crossed everyone he should win it because he hasn't started a war has he i mean isn't that the first what like he said the first one in 30 years is commendable in my opinion but what say you i'd like to know your opinion let me know in the comments if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon, share it out, everyone. I really do rely on you sharing it out now with them demonetizing, because what that also means is they don't recommend or promote as much. So I'm relying on you to keep the channel alive, everyone. Thank you very much. Stay sane. I'll see you on the next one.